Pythagorean theorem applies to right triangles and a right triangle is a triangle that has two of its sides such as side A and side B perpendicular to each other making an angle of 90 degrees and the side opposite to this 90 degree angle is the C side C all right and this is called the hypotenuse with this we can comfortably apply Pythagorean theorem which simply relate the three sides of this triangle together in the equation c squared equals a squared plus b squared what this means is that the square of the hypotenuse is always equal to the sum of the squares of the legs a and b of the right triangle all right so this powerful pythagorean theorem allows us to relate the sides so relate the sides of the right triangle okay so with this established trigonometry helps us to relate the angle for example theta so trigonometry helps us to relate the angle example theta to the sides of the triangle all right basically that is what trigonometry is all about and in most cases you are going to experience pythagorean theorem trying to find one of the sides of the right triangle so it can help you use trigonometry to relate the side of a triangle or two sides of a triangle to one of its interior angles all right so that is trigonometry next let's look at the most important thing here for any right angle triangle you have to determine the three the names of the three sides depending of your angle of interest here we do have a right triangle it is a right triangle because we have a 90 degree angle here and the side opposite to this angle is the hypotenuse now this is our angle of interest and since this is our angle of interest the side opposite to this angle of interest we call it the opposite side So in this triangle our opposite side it's side b and then we can clearly see side a is also adjacent to the angle of interest so we call it the adjacent and these are the three basic important things you have to know before you can apply any of the trigonometric functions let's start looking at those functions one we have one of the functions we call the sine function and we write it as sine okay and the second one two is the cosine function which we write it as cos and the last one which is the tangent function we write it as tan all right and these functions will relate any two of these um, sides of the right triangle so like i've mentioned the first part you have to know is the various sides of the triangle you have to identify the hypotenuse identify the adjacent and then identify the opposite so just a quick recap for any triangle at all if it is right angle triangle that is one of its interior angle equals 90 degrees or two of its sides are perpendicular to each other forming a 90 degree angle 
then the side opposite the side of the triangle opposite to this right angle is the hypotenuse. Also, depending on our angle of interest, in this case we are interested in theta, okay? The side B is opposite to the angle theta, so we call that side our opposite side, all right? And clearly we can see side A, which is in this case the base of this triangle, is adjacent to the theta angle, so we call it the adjacent. With this, we have three basic mnemonics that we are going to use to help us remember these three trigonometric functions. The first one is so, the second one is ka, and the third one is toa. So stands for sine, opposite, and hypotenuse. Ka stands for cosine, adjacent, and then hypotenuse. And finally, the tan stands for tan, gent, opposite, and then the hypotenuse. So to apply this in an equation or mathematical equation, we use it as sine of the angle of interest theta is equal to the opposite so in the same order so you start with the sine the angle of interest is equal to the opposite side of the triangle divided by the hypotenuse of the triangle and that is a trigonometric function sine connecting or relating the two sides of the right triangle, the opposite side and the hypotenuse side, all right? We can do same with the cosine. So in that same order, ka cosine, so cos, the angle of interest equals adjacent, okay? Divided by the hypotenuse, all right? Now let's look at another example. Again, we have a right triangle because our 90 degree angle is here so we have to determine the hypotenuse and that is the side that is opposite to this right angle so our hypotenuse is here call it hype now our angle of interest is alpha so alpha now is opposite or the side opposite to alpha is this side so it becomes our opposite side and obviously we can see the adjacent side to be this side, okay? With this, we can evaluate all the trig, uh, three basic trigonometric functions as so, ka, toa, all right? Let's do the sine of alpha. So I'll redraw the, drag, uh, the triangle we have our right angle here, so the opposite side here, the adjacent side here, the hypotenuse here, and our angle of interest is here, alpha. So sine of alpha equals the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. Again, for cosine, we do the same thing. So we have our angle of interest here, alpha, right angle here. So this makes our hypotenuse here, the opposite side here, and the adjacent here. Now cosine of alpha is going to be the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. Finally, tangent. All right, so we have our angle here, alpha, right angle here. So our hypotenuse here, the adjacent here, and the opposite side here. So tangent of alpha would be the opposite side divided by the adjacent.